In this video I'm going to show you how to use the drawing Photoshop action. So the way the action works is you open up your photo, you simply brush over your subject with the color and display the action. And here is the effect that the action creates. So as you can see what the action does, it transforms the photo into um, drawing and the results that you get are fully layered so there is a lot of powerful forecast imagine the results that you get and the action also comes with more than a 50 uh, brushes that you can use to further build a design and the action also creates 50% uh, color looks that you can choose from and you can also combine them to create even more all right so let me just close these two windows now so when you open up your photo before you use the action there are just a few things that you should check just to make sure that the action will run without any errors so the first thing that you should check is that your photo is a background layer so it should be called a background and have this little lock icon and if you have something like this or anything else just go to layer new and choose a background from layer then click on this menu icon over here and just go to panel options and make sure that this option here the add copy the copy layers groups is checked then go to image mode and make sure your photo is in the RGB color mode 8 bit kennel and you can also check the image size from here so for best results you should use the images that are run from 20 to 40 100 pixels wide or height okay and now to load the action just go to window actions click on this menu icon over here load actions and just choose the action from folder according to your photoshop version select the action click load and the action will appear here in your actions panel okay then just hit b on your keyboard to select the brush tool right click anywhere inside the canvas click on this gear icon right here choose load brushes and just choose the brush file from the same folder click load and all the brushes will appear here in your brushes panel and to load the patterns that can be download just go to pattern stamp tool and click on this arrow over here gear icon load patterns and again choose the patterns file from the same folder I choose load and the the patterns will be here in your uh, patterns panel right so what you need to do now is just go to layer new layer to create a new layer name it brush and this is a very important step you need to type the brush exactly like this all letters lowercase otherwise the action won't work just choose okay and now before I brush my photo, what I want to do is to just expand the canvas size on the sides and on the bottom to have more space and it's always better to have more space around your subject because you'll be able to easily crop the image later right because if you don't have enough space a lot of effects will be cut off so it's best to expand the canvas and then crop the image later if needed right so just go to image canvas size I'm gonna check the reality option and first I'm gonna expand the canvas in this direction for uh, 200 pixels I'm going to go to image canvas size again and now I'm going to expand the canvas size in this direction for 250 pixels right and lastly I'm going to uh, expand the canvas at the bottom so I'm going to choose this direction and I'm going to increase for 350 pixels just like this okay so all you have to do now is just choose the brush tool pick a salt brush you can choose any color color is not matter and simply brush your subject and you don't, you don't have to be precise when brushing at all okay just like this and I've already done the brushing before so I'm just going to open my PSD file okay here it is so after finished brushing all you have to do is to just select the action and click play so I'm going to fasten the video here and I'm going to get back as soon as the action is finished and then I'm going to go throughout all the layers to show you how each layer works, how it affects the design and how you customize it okay so the action is just finished so I'm just gonna close the access panel for now and I'm going to expand a little bit this layers panel so the first thing that you probably want to do each time you run the action is to just quickly close down all these folders so how can you quickly do that you just hold control and down buttons for PC or command option for Mac and while this folder is selected just click on this little arrow here and on that we are going to close down all the folders so uh, I'm going to uh, customize this effect from the bottom so what I'm going to do is I'm just gonna hide all these layers and I'm going to start uh, turning them on one by one uh, because that way uh, you're going to better understand how each layer works, how it affects the design and how can you customize it. Right so this is the original photo layer and the first layer we got here that the action created is the uh, background color layer Alright, so what you can do is uh, you can just double click on this color box and you can choose any color 
to change the background color. You also have these the gradient overlay effects you can double click here and you, you can just change the opacity or make any other changes to the light source. It's uh, currently is the radial style so um, the light source goes from the center. You can change it and change the angle and other. Okay. Uh, next we got here are the two texture layers. Right? And what you can do is you can just change the opacity uh, of this texture and um, for each layer you can customize uh, by changing the opacity. You can change the opacity either by clicking on the word opacity and then just dragging it aside like this or you can click on this layer over here and then drag this slider. Okay? So you can play with the opacities of these layers. I'm just gonna leave them default. The next layer we got here is the photo outlines layer. So this layer creates the outlines of the whole photo, um, of the whole photo, not not just the area that you have brushed, All right? And what I'm going to do now is uh, first I'm just going to select this layer mask over here. I'm going to choose the brush tool, and just going to pick the soft brush, set foreground color to black, and I'm going to brush over these lines here that are made because of the uh, expanded canvas, right? So we just got this border, so. Just gonna brush to remove it. Okay, just like this. And what you can do is also to change the opacity of this layer. Okay. And the next layer we got here is the outer sketch, right? So now I'm just gonna turn on all these sketch layers uh, at once, and also I'm gonna turn on these two sketch layers, uh, the subject outlines and subject uh, details uh, layers. So uh, uh, the first thing you can see here is that we got a layer mask, right? So if you just shift click on the layer mask, you'll see that this mask uh, is just going to slightly uh, fade the edges uh, of the of these uh, textures, and what you can do is you can just uh, here in the properties panel change the amount of fading. All right, I'm just gonna leave it default, and you have the same layer mask here at the edge sketch layer. So when you put a folder, um, as you can see the the in fact, it's fully layered, and each of these layers here is creating a different uh, sketch effect. So what you can do is you can just change the opacity of any of those layers, and achieve a lot of different uh, drawing effects. Right? So I'm just going to increase the opacity of this one a little bit. Okay, I'm gonna leave this one uh, with the default opacity. All right, and what you can also see, uh, see is that each of these layers has uh, the layer mask. So this layer, uh, all these layers are removed on the area of your subject or your brushed area. What you can do is you can shift click on any of these layer masks to disable them and show these layers over the subject as well. What I'm going to do is just going to select this layer mask over here, choose a brush tool, set program color to white, and I'm going to drop the brush opacity to about 50. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to brush for specific areas where I want that this layer uh, goes over the subject area, right? So when you brush with the white, wherever you brush, the, you're going to remove the layer mask, so this layer will be visible on those areas as well. I'm just going to use the lower opacity, and just going to brush or some edges, I'm going to use a little bit more, um, more uh, less opacity, a less opacity brush. So I'm just going to brush a 
Okay. So I'm just brushing over the areas that are highlighted too much so the subject blends better with the, with the textures. Okay, so the next folder we got here is the edge sketch and uh, also to mention one more thing, so you, you can change the opacity of the complete folder if you like. Okay, so it's the same for all these layers. So here we got the edge sketch layers. And what you can also do is, if you wish to add, um, if you wish to use uh, the brushes to add some more details um, to the design, uh, you can create just a new layer inside uh, this folder, for example. And you can just Alt or Option click on this layer mask, drag it or this layer. So, if you're if you want to add some sketch that doesn't cover um, your subject, you can just use the layer mask from these layers and you just hit B on your keyboard select the brush tool, set front color to black, and uh, increase the opacity back to 100% and here you're just gonna change these to large thumbnail alright so here are all the brushes uh, that are included and these brushes here up to this one uh, have their settings adjusted so when you excuse me just like the uh, thumbnail of the layer so when you brush with them they have uh, adjusted settings as you can see and but you can use any of those other brushes for example you use this one you can just use square brackets to keyboard to quickly change the brush size and you can add some uh, more details you can then adjust the opacity of, the, of that um, brush that you placed and what you can also do you can for example select this one and just gonna change the size a bit and just go to window and brush and you can adjust some settings here all right you can add some shape dynamics you can add uh, transfer settings and just gonna increase the uh, the spacing to 500% and the size of a thousand pixels right so now I have adjusted the settings of this brush so it's easier to just create some random sketch lines like this okay so I'm just gonna I'm not going to use any additional uh, lines uh, in this example so uh, the next layer we got here is the inner sketch right so it's uh, also uh, layered what you can do also is to play with the opacities of any of those layers and each of these layers here a different layer mask so it's created on a, it doesn't it's created on a different uh, area of the subject right so every next layer have more uh, area covered as you can see all right so you can if you were to remove some specific part of any of those layers you can just select its layer mask and brush with a black uh, wherever you wish to uh, remove this layer uh, with a salt brush and you can also brush with the white if you wish to reveal it on some areas where this layer is not visible and as you can see this folder, complete folder have opacity lower to 40% okay so you can just adjust it as you like, I'm just gonna increase it a little bit and here we got a white sketch so these are just some uh, white sketch lines. Uh, this layer here has the layer mask, uh, as you can see that removes the layers from the subject. And this one here removes uh, the subject from the um, specific areas only. All right, so it's visible uh, on the highlights. And you can also play with the passive these layers, it's going to leave them default 
and the next folder we got here is the subject outlines right it's just gonna um, hide this folder for now so you can better see how this layer works so the first outline here is the if you change, uh, change the page you can see it's just the outline around the subject and this here they're just uh, highlighting some details of your subject what you can do you can just shift click select these uh, layer over here and then just uh, shift click on the last subject outline layer select them all uh, at the same time and then you can change the opacity of all of them together at once I'm just gonna drop it down a little bit just like this okay and as you can also see each of these layers also have the layer mask so as well as the main folder you can remove any outlines on any area if you like so what I'm going to do is just going to set this layer mask and to the salt brush set program color to black and I'm just going to remove it with this edge line over here just like that okay so the next folder we got is the subject details folder so when you open the folder uh, you found that uh, subject details are also layered so what you can do is you can just change the opacity of this layer and this layer has a layer mask over here so as you can see uh, this layer is uh, visible over the shadows and midtones area and it's removed uh, on the highlights area okay okay so here is the next layer we got here and also gonna change the opacity is gonna drop it down a little bit and this layer also has a layer style it is the pattern overlay so I, what you can do is you can just double click here you can change the opacity of the pattern if you like right so if it happens that you already have these opacity set 100% and you wish to make this effect um, to make this layer darker and more visible you can then just increase the opacity of the pattern overlay All right? and this layer has a layer mask that as you can see uh, makes this layer visible only over the shadows area okay and the next layer we got here uh, first we're gonna uh, I'm going to adjust the the fill of this layer okay so you can, with this layer you can really reveal a lot of details of your subject so and just set it like this and I'm just going to drop down opacity a little bit and this layer also has a pattern overlay layer style so you can change its opacity here uh, as well All right. and this layer also has a layer mask over here this layer mask reveal, uh, removes this layer from the highlights area of the subject All right. so what you can do is you can just open the properties panel and you can see the uh, density is lowered by default to 80% so it makes these uh, details visible over the highlights area but just uh, slightly less right so if you set it to 0% you're gonna make it fully visible uh, or the highlights area as well right so you can just adjust with this cursor uh, how much you wish that these um, sketch lines are visible over the highlights area of your subject okay and last layer we got in this folder all right so you can see it's going uh, this layer highlights uh, a lot of details of your subject so I'm going to set it like this okay and now what I'm going to do is just, I'm just gonna select this layer mask and I'm gonna choose the salt brush set from color to black and just going to brush a little bit over this edge here so this edge is just a little bit uh, visible because of this transition over here the brush layer is going a little bit over this line 
right? That's why I just have to to brush a little bit to soften this edge and remove that border line. Okay, that's it. So the next layer we got here is the vignette. What you can do is you can also change the opacity of this layer. Okay, I'm just going to leave it default. And here we got a color looks. So when you open the folder, you'll find 35 uh, color looks that you can choose from. So all you have to do is to just select any of these color looks, 30 tones, see how it looks. If you don't like it, simply try with another until you find the one that goes best with your photo. Okay, so what you can also do is you can turn on one color look. Uh, for example, I'm going to turn on this one here and then just turn on another one so you can combine more color looks to create, um, to create even more color looks. And now you can just play with the opacities of these color looks. I'm going to drop down opacity of this one and this one a little bit. All right? You can combine even uh, more than two color looks if you like, all right? So the next layer we got here is the overall contrast. So how you adjust the contrast, you just change the opacity. Okay. I'm going to set it like this. Next we got here is the overall saturation. So what you can do is you just double click on this layer thumbnail and you can move these cursor around to adjust the saturation. So I'm going to set it like this. And the next layer we got here is the overall brightness. So just going to turn it on. And by default this layer has a little bit boosted brightness over here. What you can do is you can uh, play with any of those cursors to adjust the uh, brightness of your photos. So this one is going to boost the shadows. This one is going to affect the mid-tones. This one is going to put the highlights and this one here is fading the shadows this one here is fading the highlights right I'm just gonna leave it default and the next layer we got here is the overall sharpening so if you made any changes to the design like you can remove some parts of the textures created more textures uh, or anything else you need to create this layer again because if you move it around you'll see uh, these lines that are the edges of the design that are giving the sharpening and when you make some changes you need to these edges need to be updated as well to give a correct sharpening so uh, it's best just to uh, uh, delete this layer and then just press Control alt shift and d or command option shift and d uh, on your keyboard to create a screenshot then press Control shift u or command shift u to desaturate the photo and just go to filter other high pass and set the radius to 2 pixels and then just change the blending mode of this layer to hard light Okay, and now you can change the amount of sharpening by changing the opacity. I'm going to leave it 100%. And here's the brush layer that he created on the beginning of the video. So the reason why I have this brush layer here is because the action is made so that every time you run the action you'll get a unique result, even if you use the same brush area. So if you just delete this layer, uh, the complete folder, and you just play the action again, you're going to get some unique drawing variation. Right? So Let's just quickly check the before and after. So this is the before effect and this is the after. And just going to do one more thing. I'm going to choose the crop tool from here. I'm just going to crop the image on the top a little bit. Just like this. Okay. So this is the before, and this is the after. Right? right, so I hope you understood everything, but if you still need any help or you got any questions, feel free to contact me anytime via my Envato profile page. Thanks for watching.